you know what? I'm just gonna record four in a row this time because I just feel like it. But anyways, hi guys, it's is Guy Christian Knight with Let's Play Chibi Robo Park Patrol. In the last episode, we left off here in the city, and in this episode, I'm gonna go ahead and start by turning in some flowers because I figure I might as well go on the way. I do have a monkey burger, so one of the immediate goals I plan on doing is, you know, essentially going to kick combo and starting up that whole thing. But anyways, let's go on the mat and click on the thing. And hey, it's Mr. Guy. They never really give him a name. I don't think they do anyway. Him. How's it going, my little metal friend? Oh, um, what I meant was... Well, look who it is. It's the world-famous Chibi Robo. Hey, would you like to hear about the Flower of the Day program? Uh, sure. I guess. I guess he'll explain it a bit better than I did. Well, every day I look for flowers in a specific color. So if someone gives me a flower with that color, it triples my happiness. So basically you get triple the happy points, is what he's saying. The flower color changes every day in a certain order. Anyway, all that aside, how's the part coming along? Do you have any flowers for me? Well, actually we do. We have a bunch of, uh, we actually do have a couple of reds. But we do have that rainbow flower, and we have a few black flowers that we can also get rid of as well. It always shows up the, uh, the last flower that we plucked. I'm impressed. Rainbow flowers are hard to come by. Yeah, rainbow flowers always give you a special bonus. They're never the flower of the day, though, so... But they always give you just a general bonus. So, anyways, I had ten flowers. Kind of a mix. And we have over a hundred... Whoa! <laughs> yeah, we nearly got 200 happy points now. Gee... Oh, now we do! Okay, never mind then. So, yeah. Flowers can be a very, very, very... Fruit, uh, fruitful kind of way of getting hearts. Like, I mean, of course the downside is you have to pluck flowers, but, uh, I mean, you get a lot of happy points if you play your cards right. Especially if you have a rainbow flower, too, in your inventory. But anyways, yeah. This is pretty much the first example we've kind of seen this, but yeah, um, uh, toys will actually, you know, a uh, ask you if you have a specific item in your inventory. So really, it just helps to have all sorts of items in your inventory. I can go ahead and say that the leaf and the tennis ball, which is the two things I have, um, no toy like really cares about those. It's really just food. But anyways, Kid Combo Academy. You gotta score over 70 to pass. It will be getting, well, this will be your first song. So basically just play the boombox and... Oh wow, 100! Man, props, PB. Yeah, we're awesome. <laughs> you showed the folk dance who's boss, so now it's yours. Alright, now is he gonna die? No, not quite. Alright. But yeah, that's pretty much all it is. Um, basically, with the Kid Combo Academy, you have to make sure you score at least 70 points in one dance. If you fail, then what happens is that you have to repeat the song. So, in order to repeat the song, you have to find another monkey burger. So, yeah. Honestly, the save, if you want to save yourself trying a hassle and stuff, hopefully just try and do it on your first go. I can almost guarantee that I probably will screw up at some time though, because typically I'm really bad with the Kid Combo Academy. Or at least I was on my first playthrough. Just topping up real quick. But, um, I mean, mainly because you're going on a song that you have pretty much no experience in. And, um, we gotta find... Oh, I guess I got rid of the test ball or something. Or maybe I was thinking something else. And also, we have another burger. Or maybe I didn't get a test ball. Maybe I was confusing that with the burger. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Since we have another burger, I might as well go back to Kid Combo. Probably should be using the bicycle. Yeah, let's just, um, use the bicycle. Let's see if we can go for two songs in one day.
Alright, just gotta wheel over to him. Alright, you smell delicious. I, did, I didn't read this before, so I might as well. If you get to me, I'll teach you some of my fantastic moves, bro. And of course, we get happy points for doing it. Damn, I'm gonna have a lot of happy points when I go back to the chibi house. I mean, look at that, we're almost at 300. That's a lot of watts. Alright, so once again, we're gonna pop in the cami. Just gonna print myself a bit. Alright, I screwed up a bit, but I, I still passed that one too. That's actually my hardest song as well. Because it's really hard to tell, like, if you have the right thing, and it's kind of hard to say, like, if you're off tune or not. But anyway, it's a cheapy robot. Or a signature move, I guess. Oh, uh, it looks like he's dead. Alright. Well, like I was alluding to before when I introduced this guy, he works a lot differently than other toys, because he's not going to disappear. He's just going to plop down, and we just put him back up. This is the only toy that does this, by the way. The only toy that you have to recharge, anyways. And we're gonna get another 30 happy points for reviving him, too. So we're gonna have over 300 happy points going back to the Chibi house. That's a lot of happy points. Oh, jeez, look at that. Oh, today's gonna be a good day. Alright, we don't need to talk to him. Yeah, yeah, we know. We've done it twice already in this video. Um, let me talk to you. I'm gonna talk to you. Oh, hi, Chibi Robo. You need Moola to buy the food in here. Sorry, little guy. Oh, wait a second. You're the one who's planting all those flowers, aren't you? I mean, this is the greatest thing ever. I like the flowers that bloom by the water the best. They almost look wistful and blue. Oops. I better get back to work before or my mantra will chew me out. See you later. So she kind of alluded to how uh, you can get like some uh, one of the colored flowers in the game. There are all sorts of colors if you couldn't realize from the flower shop guy. The thing you have to do is you have to alter t the terrain or plant flowers in certain areas to get certain colors. And she just told us how to get blue flowers, which basically is flowers, you know, along the river. So let's go ahead and charge up real quick. Like I said, you want to you you really want to abuse this plug right here because it does save you quite a few watts. Mm -hmm. All right, that camera. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and go back because I actually do want to do some stuff at the park and yeah, maybe just like chew out the day or something. I don't know. Let's just, let's just go back and just, um, I do want to continue on that one plot of land, I think. Well, also, I do want to try and trigger something as well. Hopefully, well, the sooner it happens, the better, honestly, so. Also, that, yeah, it's a bell, the bottom right button, it's a bell, and it also makes you, oh. I broke it while jumping! <laughs> oh. How appropriate, too! I must admit, I was afraid this would happen. So yeah, we lost our bike. That, that's actually really hilarious. That <laughs> I broke it messing around with jumping. Oh god, this isn't going well. Yeah, that was like... <laughs> There we go. Alright, yeah, let's try and see if we can just do some um, yard work while we're um, out here, I guess. Let's see, just get, gotta get myself in a good position to do some watering. Man, we are really seriously racking up. But yeah, uh, no matter. Uh, oh, I guess that was uh, on the sand, so let's just move on. Uh, Anyways, uh, jeez, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the, the, no, I missed. Also, I don't know why it took that. But, um, the bicycle will actually, the, the, the toy bicycle 
it it's the, it breaking down is a fixed event, like a fixed point in time with the game. It's gonna happen at some point, whether you're doing jumps. Ooh, I got another rainbow flower. It it breaks down no matter what you do. So like, it, the first time I played this game, honestly, that really scared me. But uh, like you know, you're just whizzing along, and then just suddenly, and um, you have a sad day. But um, yeah. Why you want that to happen, though, is that it does trigger something and open something up in the chibi shop. Or the chibi PC, rather. Well, chibi... Chibi chibi. I don't know. It's, uh... Water's... Let's see. Can I... Okay, I forget how you're supposed to take these weeds out. I thought it was a spoon. Oh, well. It really doesn't matter. Uh, let's go ahead and water this and see if there's, um anything inside it, because the day's gonna end any second now. No. Let's see, let's... I see an X over here, though. I wanna go ahead and get this. But yeah, here's the waterproof spray in action. Now we can actually go into the stream, so we don't actually need the bridges anymore. But you have to buy the bridge. Oh, here's the tennis ball. Oh, well, just called ball, I guess. Uh, but, um, yeah, like I was saying before, like, the tennis ball, like, the tennis ball is actually related to a sticker in this game. And we're out of time. Alright, let's go ahead and just cash in on our giant windfall. Also, we got 12 visitors. Alright, so day 7. <laughs> it makes sense because this is the 7th video. Oh, sorry, I'm making a joke. <laughs> Alright, 12 happy points. 370 happy points. Yeah, we're gonna tap the skip on this one. Because that'll take forever. <laughs> and yeah, we collected so many happy points, we can even tap the skip the battery going up. Look at that. 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. Oh! Almost 8,000 watts. Jeez. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that was a good day. That was a really good day. Also, 150. I think we're 15 short, then? Oh, wait. What? Um, what am I getting? I shouldn't have hit the threshold. Oh, right, the bike. Durr. But yeah, once you break your bike, the chibi... Uh, Oh yeah, and the pedal chip. Both of those go into the store once you break your bike. And it's better that you do this because the pedal chip is actually... It can be pretty useful, but you also get a, a, a pimp and new bike, so there's that. Unfortunately, you do have to buy it, but... It's worth it. Plus, I do I do think you need to buy the bike in order... Oh, shoot. You do need to buy the bike in order to get better transportation. And we'll see what that is later on. Uh, is it... Yeah, it's heavy. Shoot. Alright. So I'm looking forward to at least six of the guys today. Alright, so, but yeah, here's the bike. We're gonna go ahead and definitely pick this up, as well as pick up the uh, pedal chip. So pedal faster by pressing the L and R buttons. This, as far as I'm aware of, this really is only effective against hills. And, um, I have a lot of watts. Maybe we should buy all this other stuff. Because the spare battery is useful because if you do exhaust your energy, it does give you um, a bit to work with. Although it has a one-time use only item, so you do have to buy more. And, um, you know what? I think I have enough watts to just buy everything. It's good to raise in the flattener because those two are pretty important. Uh, yeah, let's just buy everything. Screw it. There you go. And we went from 7,000 to 700. <laughs> Pretty much we went cleanly to 7,000 too, so... <laughs> yep, all our money's gone, but the good side is that we don't have anything else to buy, so... And also I just realized we're going to be going through a lot of, um... Stuff real here, so... Real here, that made no sense. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna pick up a spare battery just because, because it, it can be useful to have. 
I rarely ever use it though, but eh. But anyways, all of our cartridges that we bought. So now we can definitely do a lot more stuff, that's for sure. Alright, I think we got one more. Yeah, the yellow one. Okay. Alright, it's just gonna immediately interrupt us so we can um, go ahead and put all the cartridges in the reader. So we have the, ra uh, the red razor, which is a major function. The razor allows you to destroy stuff, so if you don't like something, you can just get rid of it. Including streams, it looks like. Uh, green ones are landscaping um, cartridges. They allow you to do so. I kind of went over the codes before, but it, it bears repeating. But it, that allows you to get rid of rocks and stuff like that. Path allows you to build stone paths, like what we've been walking on and stuff. And use half the watts as doing so. Um, blue is utilities, so the windmill generates energy on its own that we can use for ourselves. So it's, it's free energy, but it takes a while to charge up. The manhole, we've already seen this, but now we can put one in our park, which can be very useful because I'm going to go ahead and put it in the back once I buy it. And yellow is toy. This is the trampoline. Trampoline is related to another sticker in the game, but that's for a long time for now, so... Alright, but yeah, we basically have a lot of new projects. Also, I probably should have checked this beforehand, but I do want to kind of see how much it will take to till. But as you can see, we now have a few things that we can use for us. Phrases available. Um, let's see. Utilities. And, um, yeah. Games. They call it games. So there's our trampoline right there. Bounce to the sky. And there's a bunch of other stuff, but we got to find the cartridges for those first. Uh, let's see. Uh, utilities. There's our windmill. It's actually really big, too, which is pretty cool. And, um, our manhole. Uh, let's see. And then, you know, there's a tilling cartridge. Probably the most useful cartridge in the game. Path. Uh, let's see. Flattener. So clear rocks and trees. It's kind of a weird animation. Um, how much is tilling? Oh, God. <laughs> Now I feel bad for buying all that stuff. Well, I'll have to wait for later then, I guess. Uh, but do note that Molly is actually cheaper than the other two. That's important, but I'll talk about it later. For now, I'll go ahead and end off the video, because I'm poor and I can't really do anything. So, this is Garagrisha9 with Let's Play Chibi Robo Park Patrol. And in the next episode, we'll be continuing on hopefully getting enough happy points to be able to till some ground. I'll see you then, guys.